Hey guys, welcome back to the channel DZ Can Toys. Hope all of you guys are doing well. Today we have a new unboxing and review to look at. This time is the Injustice Gods Among Us Bane from Storm Collectibles. Alright, now that we have our Storm Collectibles Injustice Gods Among Us Bane unboxed, let's talk about the background information of the toy company as well as the character. First of all though, I would like to give a shout out to my wife. Recently she got me a lot of presents and this Bane is one of them. So shout out to you, wifey, you're beautiful. Now let's move on to the toy company Storm Collectibles. Ever since I got the Storm Collectibles Dark Side, I became a huge fan of their products. I know this Bane is not a new release and I know I'm a bit late on the Storm Collectibles hype, but I knew I had to get this figure eventually. So thanks to my wife for getting me this figure earlier than I expected. On the Storm Collectibles official website, their info is that they are a Hong Kong based designer and manufacturer of action figures distributing products globally since 2010. They make high quality collectible action figures that are officially licensed, ranging from world class iconic figures like Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson to popular movie and combat gaming characters like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. Their mission is to make products that are high quality with state-of-the-art craftsmanship. As for our character Bane, he's quite a famous Batman villain, so I won't say too much about him, but he belongs to the collective enemies that make up the Batman rogues gallery. Possessing a mix of brute strength and exceptional intelligence, Bane is often credited as the only villain to have broken the bat, both physically and mentally. Moving on to the aesthetics and paint job of today's figure. In terms of the aesthetics, I have to say Storm Collectibles did a fantastic job on this Bane figure. He's what I imagine a Bane figure or Bane would look like in real life that jump out from the comics or the movies. I know there's many versions of Bane in the past in terms of the comic books or the movies, but all of them have something in common, which is he's a huge towering guy that's very muscular and ready to wreak havoc. Taking a closer look at the sculpt work and details of the figure, I have to say Storm Collectibles definitely did a good job on this Bane figure. The most obvious feature at first glance are the lime color tubes all over the body. We have them over the shoulders, the head connection to the back, the arms, as well as the waist to the legs. For long-term fans of Batman and Bane, would know that these tubes are supposed to be pumping venom into Bane's body in order for him to maintain his super strength. I like the fact that Storm Collectibles did the tubes in these rubber materials so they won't hinder the articulation as much, I would assume. Later, we'll check out the articulation. Furthermore, looking at the arms, also at the neck, we can see that we have these green veins over here popping and these are painted nicely on the arms as well. For the neck, we can also see that He's under heavy pressure from the venom slash steroid pumping and injecting into him. So that's a nice touch for the neck details. Also the veins popping on the arms. Here's another look at the neck. So there are actually green highlights on the neck veins as well. Moving down to the body, in terms of his suit, we have a mostly black, silver, and brushed silver color that combines into his suit. So he has a piece of chest armor over here, which is done in this brushed silver but we do have a lighter silver detailed over the chest plates here. In terms of the belt, we also have the red highlights on the belt buckle here, as well as the chest plate. We also have these two canister over here, which is a nice detail in terms of the design. In terms of collectible figures, we usually pay less attention to the back design of the figures because we usually display the figure with its front facing us. But I have to say, the design of this Bane at the back is no slouch. Especially this armor piece here, it actually surprised me. At first glance, I thought this would be molded plastic, but after touching it, it's actually made out of rubber. This means that they did a very nice job on the paint application over here to make the rubber material look not like rubber at all. I have read some reviews online that have complained about Storm Collectibles figures using too much rubber material, but for me personally, I don't really mind it. As long as they paint it nicely as this, I don't really see a problem with it. I also like the fact that in terms of the toxic venom tubing design, we have two tubes here that look broken that are just dangling over here. So 
This gives some flair to the design overall. Also, the back armor here, we have a blue color painted over here. It looks like some sort of canister. I would assume this then would carry the venom that is injecting into Bane. We also have some more red highlights as well as some silver highlights all over the places. Here we have a closer look at the handguard armor design details. Again, these shark spikes over here are actually made out of rubber. They did a good job painting it for it to not look like rubber at all. I had to feel the material itself to know it's actually rubber. I also like the brushing that they use for the paint job on the hand guards and the metal parts. They're not simply one colored, but there's some detailing done on the paint job as well. It looks like some sort of dry brushing. And this dry brushing detail technique is used all over the figure, including the chest plate here as well as the back which I just showed you guys. Moving on to the design and aesthetics of the lower body, we have some green venom tube that extends all the way to the upper legs. Then we have these silver linings here that wraps around the legs. Moving down, we have the armor piece here, which is a knee pad, another armor piece at the boots, and more spikes at the tip of the foot. For the armor pads on the knees, the foot, as well as the spike at the tip of the foot, all of these pieces are actually molded plastic. Although they look the same in terms of color and painting, as the hand guards that I showed you guys earlier, these are not rubber and are actually molded plastic. This just proves that for the rubber parts, Storm Collectibles did a very good job on the paintwork because I can't really tell if it's molded plastic or rubber in terms of the design of these spikes all over the body of this Bane figure. I have to personally feel the part in order to know myself. That's pretty much everything I want to talk about in terms of the aesthetics of the figure. Now regarding the paintwork, I have to say this figure deserves an A plus from me. This is due to the fact, as I mentioned earlier, that some of the rubber parts on this figure are painted in a way that they don't look rubber at all. So that's very cool. Overall, although the figure does not have too many colors, we do have the base color of the body, the black and the silver of the armor and the suit, and some nice color separations from the lime looking venom tube as well as the small red highlights on the head, the chest, and the waist part of the figure. Here we have a closer shot of the arms. I just want to show you guys not only the vein details that I mentioned earlier with the green highlights which look very nice either close or far away but I'm not sure how well it shows on camera. If you guys can tell or not, there's actually these little red dots all over the arms. Here, here, and here. It's kind of hard to see, but I hope this shows on camera. I feel like that is intentional and also a nice touch to make the skin and the arms of this Bane figure look more realistic. And they can be also some sort of blood veins that's popping out from the internal arm structure. All right, now let's go over the articulation of this Bane figure. Let's check out the upper body first. For the head, we have a 360 rotation, almost, because once at a certain point, it will be hindered by the venom tube at the back of the head. As for the arms, they go all the way up sideways like that, forward like that. Obviously, this tube will hinder the arm articulation once you try to do a full 360, but it's not too bad because if you wanted the arm to be at the back, you can just go the other way. We also have a butterfly joint here, which is very welcome. Here are the details of the butterfly joint. This way, you can do some grabbing or holding poses with Bane, which can look very nice. As for the arms, we have an elbow bend here. Bicep swivel, we do have one. Hand rotation, also hand side to side for the wrist. Now for the waist, it's pretty interesting because we have two rotation articulation. One at the upper chest, we have a rotation, and one at the lower chest, we have a rotation. So that's very good. We have two articulation at the waist. As for up ab crunch, he can go forward this far. I really like that. He can look down at some shorter characters and backwards. Backwards is pretty good too. Wow, I'm surprised he can balance with him leaning backwards that much too. Now let's move on to the lower body articulation. For the leg, kick all the way upwards, all the way backwards. It's actually not hindered by the buttocks design like a lot of figures because this design of the pants here 
is actually made out of rubber. So I can see why they use more rubber materials here for the pants. As for the legs, we have a rotation at the upper part and the knee articulation. We can bend about this much. I wish it could have bent a bit more, but I think this is enough for your bane needs. And finally, for the foot, we have a front and back wiggle room, just a little bit, side to side, again, a little bit, not too much. They probably want to keep the figure sturdy and toe pivot. Okay, so now let's check out the accessories of the figure. Actually, there aren't too many accessories with this figure. We only have four pairs of extra hands so let's show you guys that now here's the two fists that are attached to the figure right out of the box two closed ones here's the other swappable hands it looks like two open palms here's the two final hand accessories they look like slightly less open palms compared to the ones that i show you guys so these actually look very similar to the other ones here's a closer look they look very similar to me another angle so one is slightly more open than the other yeah so i know in terms of the accessory department this figure is lacking a bit but then again bane fights with his hand and body i don't see what else they could have included in the figure so now let's move on to the size comparison part of this video first we have a sh figures goku kaioken and then a figma jolter as you guys can see bane towers above all of them. Now we have a Revotech Batman. They look pretty good together. Another Batman, the Mafex Batman, one of my recent favorites. They also look like they scale very nicely with each other. Now let's do some bigger figures. Here we have a Mezco Darkseid, which is shorter than our Bane by quite a bit too. SH Figure Arts Thanos. Finally, we have uh, Storm Collectibles from the same line. The Injustice version of Darkseid from Storm Collectibles. So looking at the camera frame, it seems like Darkseid is taller than Bane over here. I initially thought they would be around the same size, but Darkseid is taller, which I guess makes sense. By the way, I also have a review of the Storm Collectibles Darkseid on my channel. If you guys are interested, you guys can check that out. Alright, final thoughts on today's figure. Overall, I have to say the Storm Collectibles Injustice Gods Among Us Bane figure is an excellent release. Ever since grabbing the dark side from the same line, I have become a huge fan of the products that Storm Collectibles has been producing. In terms of the sculpt work and the paint work, this figure is definitely top notch as even looking closely at the figure itself, I don't see any defects. As for the articulation, it is also very well done. For a figure of this size, Bane can do a lot of the poses that you expect him to do. Anyways, there goes the end of my review. Let me know down in the comment section below what do you guys think of Storm Collectibles. Will you be getting this Bane figure or do you already have him? Also, remember to support the channel if you like my video. Please do that by subscribing and liking the video. I would really appreciate that. As always, stay young at heart my friends and we're out. This is a new in me.